this week on the Big Eyes Podcast. Lovers and friends are separated in Mia Roboco and Jujutsu Kaisen. The stars align in Black Clover and My Hero Academia. And Anya is just doing Anya things again in Spy Family. So stay tuned because this is the Big Eyes Podcast. Welcome to an all new episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. As always, I'm your host LJ and joined here by the one and only 1 8 Dizzle. AD, what's up? Hey man, you already know what's going on, man. I think your Twitter name is hilarious and that's why I always call you it. <laughs> 8 Dizzle is hilarious. It makes sense though. It, it came from like the RZA. Like, that's, that's really where it came from. Where like Scissor. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just make it Dizzle. Hey Dizzle. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I respect it. A Dizzle would have been crazy though. <laughs> a Dizzle that would have been crazy. You should have went with that. I mean, nah, because folks <laughs> always call me A Dizzle whenever I just meet folks. <laughs> it, it, it's like A Dizzle was handy. I'm like, what's going on, my guy? All right, no. I feel it. I feel it. Well, very funny name. I enjoy it. But. Appreciate it. How's it going, bro? What have you been watching lately? I don't know why, but like I have not really been finding anything that's been clicking for me. I'm not gonna hold you. I just started watching Squid Game like earlier today. Like I yeah, really yeah. haven't been watching anything. I'm on like episode seven. Like who is the guy? Song Wu? Uh, he, mm, mm. he a different nigga. He a very different nigga. I don't know if I can have that guy around me. Mm, he about a bag. <laughs> yeah, you about a bag. Yeah, uh, mm, mm, mm. good show, good show. Reminds me a lot of a, of other anime that I've seen though. Um, what is it? Darwin's Game, Batum. Um, Darwin's Game is wicked. Yeah, Darwin's Game is absolutely. I love Darwin's Game. I'm not gonna hold you. That's one of my favorite ones. Like at least in the uh the game genre, it's like damn, bro. You just had a nigga send you a random invite to like through a text message. And now all of a sudden you in a whole death game. Like your homie just set you up for failure, my guy. That's crazy. Yeah. Would you uh, participate in the death game? Hell no. Nah. I like with my life. That, with all that money on the line. I'm good. I'm straight. That, so here's the thing though. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you thinking about it. Huh? No, no, no. No, because here's the thing. The one thing that I did fuck with um that I probably would have did, honestly, and I ain't no martyr. I'm just, I just like my life a little bit more. Um, when they were like, uh, I think it's like episode two, they said, yeah, if y'all all quit the game now, everybody who died gets to have their families get a cut of the money. And I'm sitting here like, you know what? I wouldn't be mad at that. I would not be mad at that. But then like when you go get through episode two and you just see how everything plays, I was like, all right. I mean, I see why niggas is, is jumping back to the game. But also, like, mm, I kind of just want to k- kick shit. Like, maybe maybe hit a lick on their family or something like that. that that's probably it. I mean, I'm I joking, by that. the way. I get that. <laughs> but I get that. I'll probably, there's, a amount, there's an amount that I would definitely agree to. I don't know what that amount is. There's <laughs> definitely a number. I'm I got to I gotta be like, Horrendously down bad. Nah, not to- even, not <laughs> even horrendous. Like I'm pretty comfortable. Like I'm, 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 I'm like I'm cozy right now, and I, I would do it. There's a certain amount where I'm like, damn. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like somebody keeps increasing the number. I might, have to, I might think about it. I'm gonna keep considering it. I might make a phone call or two. Like, can I phone a friend? Like. Can we can we know, talk man. about There's it? There's a certain amount they would have been like. I've been like, huh. <laughs> no, for real. I mean, I, listen, bro. I know, nigga. When they saw all that money drop, they could have did the right thing and gave it to their family. But I know they saw all that money drop. I was probably like, <sighs> niggas just sitting there like, nigga. I don't know. That's a lot of money. <laughs> 
hit the Russell hey, let Westbrook. Me, hey, like, hey, listen, like, if I win, sure. if I win, if I win, just give me the names of their families and I, I'll cut them all. Some, you know how much fucking money that is a day? You can probably cut all their family a good, good amount. That's what still I'm be said. I'm saying you can do it on your, you can do it on your own time. But the thing, all right. So here's the thing: would you, would you? I would want to know the games first. Cause like them niggas went in blind, except for like a handful of them niggas. That's yeah, no, nah, you know what I'm saying. Like I, I, I want some clear cut of rules. Like yeah, yeah. like I just I can't know, walk even in then that though. Bitch, like, shit, fuck it. I mean, whatever game you put in front of me, I'm gonna figure it out. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, like, like the one game, what is it? Tug of War. That was a cool ass game. Like it wasn't cool how niggas died. But, like, at the same time, I was like, all right, I can fuck with that. But niggas cutting out, like, cookies? Like, bro, that's some fuckery. That was, mm, that, was that was some bullshit, man. That was nah, some bullshit. Okay. And, and, the, and the the last game that I saw with, with the Marvel. Yeah, no, nah, they were doing too much team shit for me. Yeah, See, yeah. I can't do any team games. It got to be 1v1 the entire time. Yeah. I can't I can't be having my, hand, my life in other niggas' hands. Exactly. I don't trust. I don't trust these niggas, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm really having my life in other niggas. I can't even bro. sleep in peace because niggas want to try uh, to do nah, some yeah, shit. Nigga, it need to be one v one the entire time. Nah, I'm good. I'm straight on that. Like anime makes that shit seem kind of fun. Like even Squid Game, Squid Game shows like, nah, yeah, bro, man, you can't trust it, nobody. In the gla- like do the gladiator shit, dog. Fuck it, we just mm-hmm. run, we just run it up until. Nah. Anime definitely makes that shit seem fun sometimes. Maybe you can trust somebody. Who knows? There might be. Fuck it might be. It might be that one crazy girl who really loves you that you can no. only trust. There might Hell be that no. one. You ain't got no choice. Key key word here is might. <laughs> I don't trust a single human being. No, I ain't doing no team game. None. I'll be my only. That'll be my only stipulation. Everything I'll be one v one. I can't do no teams. Ah oh, man. Imagine if it's like me and a bunch of strangers. If I get yeah. new teams, I bring my niggas with me. I choose my own team. See, they tried that one time and it almost ain't work out. I don't know, man. I don't know. I I'm, I'm I'm really skeptical about the whole thing in general. Yeah. That that's why I'm like, man, I just it, it, you, you can't bro, put a price on it for it. me. If you put enough money on it, I might consider it, but at the no, same time, I don't even might. Man. I'm putting my life on the line. There's a certain amount of money, I, I definitely take that risk. Now, I got, I gotta be terminally ill. I gotta be like, Fuck oh. it. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Go out crazy. Yeah, exactly. Why not? I don't know, but that's my thing. I like my own. I just be like, yo, ask the first question: Is there team games? Do I am like? If they we say yeah, like, we don't know yet. <laughs> Nigga, is niggas, team games? That's all I need to know. Is there, are there are there team games? I need to partner up with somebody. We pull the games out yeah, of the hat. If they say yeah, then I'm gonna be like, hey, right, never mind. And I can't like that's the one. Like, I can't have my life, my hand, my life in another person's hands. Not when there's this much money on the line. Hell no. Nah. I mean, I feel you, but also. What if they just drawing the random games out the hat? Like they don't even know for real. Like as soon as the game ends, they I do. Go- I do some. Dev, <laughs> I'm telling you, I do some dev games. It's really on some. It's, it's really just on some some one on one shit. I'm telling you, one if we if they're get death games or like squid game type shit, first thing that needs to be up on the docker crate challenge. Already <laughs> saying it. <laughs> crate challenge got to be up there. I said niggas gotta play too low. <laughs> niggas gotta play water chicken or some goddamn like <laughs> like bro, imagine uh, imagine you playing Marco Polo with a nigga. <laughs> I ain't saying shit. <laughs> I'm underwater. Like chill, oh man, like that shit crazy. Oh man. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Hell no. Nah. A game of tag. Oh, shit. A game of tag. A game of tag. That's oh, it. That's it's it. You're out game. there. You're out. You're done. All right, oh, I'd definitely be done. I, I ain't going to hold you. I'd definitely be done. I'm, I, I know I'm fast, but like at the same time, I'm a big nigga, so I'm going to get tired quickly. I can't. I'm not invasive. I'm going to hit you with a little juke juke, and that's about it. 
That was funny. Nah, yeah. I, uh, what you want to call it? Yeah, bro. What you been watching? Like, what you been on, man? I try to start watching Scissor Southern. How Netflix. is that? I like the animation. I only got past, like, episode one. Uh, okay. Um, other than that, man, I haven't really been watching one. Like I told you, like, I don't know. Like, lately, nothing has really been enticing me. I did watch the first episode of Platinum Man just because, you know, I'm big on that. That's about yeah, it, though. Sure. Yeah, nah. I haven't watched that yet. I need to tap into it. I haven't. I'm, telling, I'm just. I've been trying to find a series. Like, I think that's the thing. Like, I need something I feel like I can just, like, kind of invest into right now. Nothing feels worth my investment right now. Like, long running series? I mean, long running a season. Like, I want to watch something where I'm like, all right, I can. You know what I'm saying? I could I could spend some time watching this. Like I want to just like get this series done. Like watching one episode is cool, but like I'm just like, eh. I'm one of those people, like when it comes to anime, I really be waiting for this the whole season to drop. Then I go and watch it. It's really I, feel I don't you. I don't really watch things week by week. I feel you. Honestly, I'm 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 about to go back and watch um all of season five for my hero and then go into Megalobox season two because I haven't watched that yet. Oh, maybe I should go watch Megalobox season two. That's yeah. It, it was those two. Um, Odd Taxi was on the list because I heard that one was actually pretty good. Um, I think that's about it for now that I've seen like that's actually finished. Um, yeah, man. I, I got a list. I, I, I sent Mills a list earlier. Um, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I but, definitely haven't watched everything on that shit, but you know. But in reading terms, um, <laughs> caught up on yeah. Let's get to the stuff that we actually like talking about here. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> the reason why we're on the Big Eyes podcast. <laughs> the reason why you're here. I'm getting caught up on Don Da Da Don. Is that how you say it? I say Don Da Don Don Da Don Don Da Don Don Da Don. Yeah, I'm gonna just call it 3D from now on. Man, I'm. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to call it 3D because it is it's way... I don't know why they chose that name. I ain't even going to hold you. I, I don't I don't really understand <laughs> it either. But I've been catching up on that. That is a really good manga. Yeah, yeah man. It's yeah. cool. Like, I'm not like... like It's a cool-ass manga. Like, that, like, the art style and just how the characters look. It's like, it's on some fly shit. Yeah, man, exactly. Like that, I'm glad you you're enjoying it. Like the characters look cool as fuck. Like I don't know. Like I don't know. This shit looks. This just looks tight as fuck. Yeah, it's not even like nothing crazy. It's just a, a simple ass story. But all the the art is like appealing, and you know. I mean, even the story you're thinking about, like the 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 like demons and the aliens and like how like like off the wall it is and shit like that at certain moments like bro like the turbo granny shit like, that's how they kicked it off yo they that, that's kicked what it off with turbo granny turbo, turbo granny. granny if you're talking about like opening arcs to a fucking series turbo granny is god what a way to come out the gate hey <laughs> That's about probably my favorite first chapter. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. Turbo Grand, like that shit's so wild. than the the fucking aliens that they had, like it's I, it's so bonkers but and weird. But I, it's like I said, it's just cool as fuck. Like it's it's like the like you said, the, from the design standpoint, from the stories, the dialogue. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just some cool shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I would, yeah. I would. This is some shit that I would recommend, like even my non manga friends. This is something I would recommend, like my my comic book heads to read. Yes, yes, thank you. Like, like if, if there's something there's endearing about it. Into, <laughs> if you're something who's someone who is heavy in the comics, um, I would I would say read Don Da Don Don Da Don Don Da Don. Don, 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 Don uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know anymore. But no, nah, like if you're really a comic book head, like I think that that is a, that is a good entryway for like for you to get into manga. Yeah. I would I would say so. It's it's weird enough. There's I the the story is cool as hell. Like the art is amazing, but it doesn't feel like a manga. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't. Yeah, it feel it so doesn't feel like overly shown. Like, overly shown. It's just it's just some. 
wacky shit at times. It's some cool shit at times. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a good mix of just stuff. So I enjoy it a lot, man. I can't wait till these these physicals start coming out. Need it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm on the same page, man. Um, but other than that, other than that though, man, just staying staying on top of the big things that are happening in Shonen Jump this week. As always, um My Hero Jujutsu Kaisen right now, they're going on they're they're getting back to that. You know, remember that stretch? <laughs> it was just like them two. Like it was just, these two were just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I'm like, here's some big shit happening. Here's some more big shit happening. Like here's a high intensity, but like they're kind of yeah. getting back to that a little bit. Yeah, it's like it's like they said. Okay, we're getting down to the end of the year. Let's go crazy. Yeah, let's, I mean, <laughs> let's really go I mean, crazy for real. But like my hero. Um, so where we left off last chapter, Stars and Stripes uh pulls up on the scene, and so does not Shigaraki. Um or all for Shiggy. All for Shiggy. That's I don't know what he is. He's he's, <laughs> he's all types of loss. He's yeah, he on his YNW Melly with that split personalities. <laughs> Oh uh, man, yeah, he do got murder yeah, on his yeah. mind right oh, now. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lot of murder on his mind. He on his YNW, YNW Shiggy. <laughs> um, but no, so we get the uh, we we see stars and stripes hopping a battle, and you know what I'm saying like we do, yeah, we see her hopping about. We see what she about. Yeah. Uh, we kind of get a we could have quick glimpse of her backstory, which is cool and. Yeah, I don't know. Like it was, it was a, it was a solid, it was a, it was a solid chapter. Yeah, I, one of the biggest takeaways is we actually get to see her quirk, which is pretty broken. Like she can say a name of something and then impose a rule on it, and like the fact, like it starts off like that, and Shiggy like shoots off a a radio cannon wave, like we've seen him done before in the war. But she dodges it like they go into like a flying formation with the with the stealth bombers, and then she imposes a rule to take away all the air around Shiggy, so he starts suffocating. Like that shit was in, insane. How she just immediately did that, and you see, off one, it's like, oh, I gotta have this. I need it in my repertoire immediately. Like something like that can't go let. Like I, I just gotta have that. Oh yeah, no, nah, it like her. It's. Maybe it's because I like I put too much TAC in my body, but I can't think that fast for her quirk. Like, you got to think about what you got to do. He has to touch something, say its name, and then give it a rule. So imagine you're in a high intensity battle where you're throwing punches, throwing this, and like you have to like say so many different rules at one time. You know what I'm saying? Like think okay. about how yeah, fast yeah, yeah. she had to think about like, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the air and say a hundred me- for the next hundred meters or a hundred meters away from me, the air does not exist. And they go and like still do that in the, like, while like, I guess she, so I guess in her quirk, she has, she could do that to two things. Yeah. She does one to herself to give herself some super, like pretty much like, Above average human strength, yeah, <laughs> extraordinary human strength. I will say that <laughs> nothing like too crazy, nothing too. It's, crazy. it's not all might, but it's, it's, it's strong right. enough. It's strong enough. It gets the job done. Listen, she got a mean right hook. It goes to say that <laughs> a mean right hook. Um, and then the next one she uses freely, but like she does that, and then she goes. The laser is holdable when the laser gets shot at her, and then she catches the laser. And then it turns into like pudding. Yeah, it turns into like pudding. Then she punches his nigga. And she so she punches Sugar Rocky, says his name, and then now she goes, um, okay, now I said your name and Sugar Rocky moves it all, his heart will stop. Like that's like three rules in like what a battle that looked like it took maybe fifteen seconds. That honestly, that felt like some hunter hunter shit, but like bro, it really is some hunter hunter shit. It's oh, every- ability. This is a new quirk. <laughs> On everything, like she's a whole manipulator out here, dog. Like that shit's crazy. Yeah, um different. But one one thing I do fuck with um is like 
the the ability itself is so interesting in that we've kind of seen it with um what's his name Shinzo the brainwash quirk guy where like if if he like asks you a question whether or not if you answer it he could just control you or not like this is kind of like a play on that and I I really dig how like it is fast paced she got to think on the fly with it but at the same time I I guess she's worked so much like could you imagine the trial and error to figure out that you had a quirk like this as a kid. Like, dog, imagine you say red light, green light. Oh, da da da, you moved. And then somebody actually starts walking, like, no, I didn't, but like they she got you gotta listen to her because you know she she didn't pose the rule on you. Like, there had to be a lot of trial and error with her with her power itself. And I kind of want to see more with her. So when it comes to the end of this chapter, I don't think that um Shigaraki will steal her quirk, uh per se, or Awful One will steal her quirk. I don't know. I think I think he might run off with it. See, that's the thing. I don't think that. I don't, why would you introduce somebody like this within three chapters, and then just let him run off with it? Like, I don't know, man. That just feels like a rush to me, like a waste. Like, because at that point, all she's going to be there is for is like just. Well, I think, man. I think it's just to show how strong this thing is. Rock, like how strong they are now. But that's why I'm. I, that's why I think they should do I it think they for about her. To, they get, I mean, they just made Deku look crazy OP. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying I think they. That's why they should do it for her instead because she's the number one hero in Japan and me in US. And we've seen how All Might works in Japan and what he has had to face. So with her coming over and being the help, if she gets wiped out immediately, what hope is there for all these other heroes? Like. What what's the hope for oh, that? Oh, I was re- I was hearing you different. I was taking it different. Like you saying they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't take her court. Yeah, I'm saying they shouldn't. Why not? I'm saying, bro, because that means like, okay, what's the point of? That's the them- point, though. I think that's, that's the a, point. That's that's in my opinion, that would be bad because it's like, all right, so fuck it, write yourself in the corner. Nah, <laughs> you are right gonna get Cyrus more ammo. <laughs> Write yourself in the corner. You I'm gonna get Cyrus happens. more ammo for this dog. Write yourself in the corner. <laughs> listen to me. Everybody, listen to me. Write yourself in the corner, goddammit. All right. Do it. Do it. Don't be scared. Do it. Okay. Take a quirk right now. Do it. I dare you. Nah. I dare you, Horikoshi. Take her quirk. Nah. Especially because Hawks and them is already about to be on the scene. Nah. Take her quirk. No, bro. Because you got to understand, like, once again, they just make Deku look like a goddamn, like, right now, Deku looks stronger than All Might. On some, like, unless I'm on some nut shit, but this guy has, like, 17 quirks now. I low-key think he beats up All Might to where he said uh, that. I mean, <laughs> current All Might, yeah. I mean, not current. I'm talking about like when we see All Might in the beginning of the series, episode one, All Might. Deku might beat his ass. Now, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Did you see the type of power this thing had? Did you not see that All Might can still like conjure up hurricanes with a single punch? Like, I don't know, man. Like. Uh, nah, unless, uh, bro, he has all these. Like, he was doing damage. He was doing damage to high level, like heroes, top five heroes, former. I'm saying, man, that's the thing. I don't like, know, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say like it's not impossible, but it's like extremely high diff for Deku to like be all might, bro. Like at the beginning of the series, if he can outlast him for three minutes, but you also yeah. got to remember, beginning of the series, all might still like he was on limited what, uh, power. The, the thirty minutes, I think it was, it was three minutes was after a while, but like thirty minutes. You don't think yeah. all might can beat Deku within thirty minutes? And this Deku is Deku. Reads that Deku. Now? Yeah, because they thing, made a Deku is, I don't know. Because here's uh. the thing: Deku isn't still using a hundred percent. He's like at forty five right now. But imagine if he like he could still push. I mean, all might even say he never was really using full one hundred percent. He was gauging himself. Deku could now gauge like he could hold. He could he could handle that power now. I mean, Deku could say that he's gauging himself, but at the same time, this is the same nigga that used a hundred million percent on muscular, and we know that's not the case. Like. <laughs> yeah, you saw what he did to muscular the second time though. 
I mean, yeah, and he should have did that. He was. He he he, he should have did. Yeah, I wanted him to do but that. But I'm saying though, like, I'm, all I'm saying is this: is that I think Deku now. We might put the we might put the fit of Paulies on on All Might in the beginning of the series. Thirty minute All Might might get might get smacked around. I don't know about smacked around, man. That 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 sounds a little egregious for my taste. You right might, now, you might get smacked around. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. But listen, how they made how they have made Shigaraki and built this man up to be. I mean, one he has to he like so they capture him. Then what? Who Shigaraki? Oh no, I think just Shigaraki just gets away. But then what was the point of showing him? I think they're showing him early now, super early now. Like they have to, they they have to make this worthwhile something just for him to pull up and just just to disappear again. I think it was just a play on all for one gauging what her quirk is, just to show it off to us, the reader. And then, like, figuring out, okay, how can we get around this? How can we actually steal our quirk for the second time? Because otherwise, I think he would have brought more than just one Nomu with him to even do that. Like, I don't know, man. I, I think it was just a gauge of strength for seeing how how Star and Stripe works and how her quirk also, works. This, also, this lets me know how this shit's going to end. And <sighs> that's whack. Deku gonna talk like some get you on know, Sugar Rocky on some. You can come to the, you can come to the light side, oh, Sugar Rocky. Talk no jutsu. You uh, can come to the light side, Sugar Rocky. Uh, you have to fight him. Ah, uh, leave that in Naruto, please. You have to fight him. You're stronger than that, Sugar Rocky. Uh, They're gonna this, do it. That's how uh, it's gonna end. Th- this nigga has no redemption. I'm sorry, Sugar Rocky. You have a place. In this new future that us heroes are building, you never have to be alone again. No kid. You want to talk to this nigga like a guy? Shigaraki gonna, Shigaraki gonna flip that nigga off and wither away. No kid will ever be left alone again, Shigaraki. <laughs> no child will be left behind. <laughs> Dude, come. Come to the light side. I'm Deku. You making that nigga sound like a uh what's that, the Jedi? And I'm gonna <laughs> cry. You see the tears coming down my face. You think these tears are fake tears, Shigaraki? This is this is the turning tears that nigga of, into a whole Sith Lord. <laughs> these are the tears of many hard years of getting picked on and bullied. This is every this is every diary of a sad kid. This is enough sadness of 10 Take Care albums put in one human being. Oh, God damn. <laughs> this is... Oh, this God is, damn. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> you know how much sadness is in my heart, Sugar Rocky, to see you so sad? <laughs> this nigga got House of Balloons playing on week repeat. <laughs> oh, this nigga is sad. Oh, oh. my God. Sugar Rocky is so angry right now. It's like a hair turned white. Or it's always been white, but it like turned all long and nasty. Why are these niggas not taking showers? <laughs> they ain't got hot water. They kind of messing my dog up. Like, <laughs> was the Rick really hiding the the dustiness? <laughs> it might have been. This is well, no. This chapter <laughs> after spending like how long, long was it? it was like five minutes, so it's crazy. But yeah. I mean, overall, this chapter is. <laughs> is it's good. I like it. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Hey, they and left they, on a they cliffhanger. Are, they left on a great cliffhanger. The the American hero's powers is pretty straight. Uh Shigaraki's OP. I mean She doesn't know we don't know who Awful One's real name is. That's the other thing. Like oh yeah, we don't. But like I like man, like Shigaraki, like this whole split personality thing. Like Awful One's like, bro, listen, you're about to become a whole different human being. He, he's mm-hmm. all types of messed up. Yeah, I yeah. give this chapter nine eight, 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 four stars. I think that's acceptable. Four star chapter. Yeah, I think it's good. I think I think that's accurate. Five star chapter, Jujutsu Kaisen. Four and a half. Five off those first three pages alone. I'm saying four and a half. Because it ended also on a cliffhanger. Better cliffhanger though. Uh, 
it's about the same for me. Nah, you know, Akatami doesn't do it, doesn't write himself in the corner. Oh no, no. The the dynamics of the JJK chapter was amazing. Like it's it's spectacular. Like the pa- paneling, action scenes. It literally the starts off with so, bro, the first three pages. The first three pages. Oh. So fucking beautiful. They're so hard. Bro. Flips the rock. <laughs> the way that he's running and like the the him leaping like to grab this dude's leg, to, to smash him through the building. Like yes. This is usually it's, different. This is usually yeah. built different. Exactly. Yeah, man. Like this nigga did a whole like quick little triathlon. Like from throwing the rock at this nigga head, him breaking it, then doing a long jump onto his leg, slamming him into the building, then put him into the building, jumping off the roof, hopping through a window into another building, and now the the propeller head dude is like slicing through with his uh propellers into the building of a into the hallway, like it's all insane. It looks so good, man. He's like moving different. My boy usually said my body different now, bro. He back. My God, yeah. my body back. Yeah, man. It, it's insane. Like it cuts from there to the guy like literally looking like one of those um those fans, like the the AC fans cutting into the hallway. Yuji's like, all right, fuck it. I I know how to use curse techniques. So like you you see how he explains how the um especially with the airplane woman from earlier, uh, how their powers kind of deviate from their body when they use their curse techniques. So usually comes up with the plan of if he hits him in the center of his head, like he will definitely knock him over and like break him open. So he oh, legit <laughs> punches this nigga square in his soft spot <laughs> in his head. Has this man leaking. And this man has the audacity to say like, Bro, I know your fist broke. Like, I know you're hurting right now, and you just attack me head on. You tripping? I I know I can get you. Meanwhile, you just like, nah, my fist ain't broke. Kicks this nigga in the stomach, knocks him out cold. Yeah, bro, that was that sequence. <laughs> that sequence is absolutely amazing. It was everything I wanted to see. It really shows. I mean, I think people were kind of. I don't know, like, granted, usually could have definitely racked up some points here. Yeah. But he could have. He could have racked up a good two bodies. Yeah, it could have been a good two bodies right there. I don't know if they're dead or not. But he's defeated them with very much ease. Yeah. Um, so it definitely just shows and just speaks to the level of power at where UG is at now. Um I like how we haven't really seen Mugumi in action yet. I mean, you had that little moment last week, but that wasn't like, I don't know. Like, I feel that wasn't like a real, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't really. Oh, yeah. He really wasn't doing anything. Like, I mean, it, it was just like, a, we know what Mugumi is about. But in, in this, he's a, more about business. He met up with the girl. Um, I forgot her name. Remy? I think her yeah. name is Yeah. So he met up with her, and now he is like, you know, I need you to take me to Higuruma, the the lawyer guy. Um, and then, meanwhile, before we cut over to um, that, we have, I guess, Yuji's old classmate or a neighbor, uh, somebody from his old neighborhood, come up into the Culling Games as well, because we've already seen his old classmates. Now we get this one random guy named Amai, uh, who shows up, and he knows Yuji from the hometown. He's like, yeah, no, nah, I I know the where you're Tiger you... <laughs> of West Junior High. That's yeah. Yeah. We ain't heard that since the first chapter. Like it is crazy how they bring that back up. And but even you just like, I don't even remember you, my guy. I'm like, I, I don't remember him either. Like he kind of looks familiar, but I don't remember this nigga. Um so yeah, we have him, we have those two link up. Meanwhile, Fushi is with um Remy, and then we get the big uh kind of split of Oh, we need y'all to take me to Higuruma. And they both tell Yuji and Megumi two separate locations. So who's really taking them to the guy? Like, that's the big mystery here. And then the chapter just ends off with a dude in some boxers with like a whole bunch of talismans hanging around his head. 
Um, and yeah, man, I, I don't, I don't know where we go from here. Cause this is, this is some yeah. insanity. They were supposed to link up and now they're about to be separated like further, further away. I think usually about to be the one that gets finessed. I think Megumi's actually going to go to like meet up with old boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I think the same thing that, that, that sounds like the most logical thing to happen. Like, well, not logical. I think that's like the most accurate thing to happen. I think Yuji is kind of too easily finessable. And meanwhile, Shorty knows that Megumi could kill this, kill her at any moment. So I don't think she would really play around in a situation like this. But also, I think once he meets the lawyer, then Megumi is going to be like in a whole another situation because now he actually got to convert this man to their side. And that's going to be a whole debacle in itself. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't know. Like, this is about to go crazy, though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be cool to see you usually get another test in his strength, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know. The dude just seems a little bit more suspicious. Mm-hmm. I, you know, you know, I don't really. I, I feel that I feel that the, the girl is a little too obvious. Yeah. I. You know what's funny? I don't even think we finna get any Yuji or Megumi next chapter. I think we've go to like Panda and Hakari next chapter. Oh, I can't wait. Let's see what are <laughs> doing. Hakari yeah. probably got like ten bodies under his belt already. He probably got some gambling bets. You know what I'm saying? He probably just setting up shop. <laughs> he got little trap houses in every colony. <laughs> you know, he, colony and colony, just you know what I'm saying. He already got the sad spots located. Like, all right, I got a spot right here underground. Uh. In, in the train station. Yep, watch. You about to be setting up shop. You gonna be in them colonies making BMF. <laughs> hey, listen, like mafia family, Akari, <laughs> you about to make bread. But no, nah, I'm I'm excited, man. Like like I said, Jujutsu Kaisen is some of the best stuff that I've ever read. The storytelling, the like where they're just at and how they just. I don't remember the last time I was disinterested. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really yeah. don't remember the last time I was reading Jujutsu Kaisen and was in there like I'm just this right here isn't doing it for me. Like it it's able to just keep his foot on the gas and tell this compelling story and keep you just engaged in, in so many different ways. Um from the action, maybe from the dialogue and just like the mystery and the you know, the story, the suspense of it. Like even this last part of like, man, who is this new guy? Especially since you know the, you know, like the calling games ain't no like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no yeah. fucking, they ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like they're there to this kill. This a real death game. This yeah, a real you know what I'm saying? They're there now. to kill. Listen, <laughs> I'll definitely do the calling games. You, team <laughs> you can make your own team in the calling game. I mean, calling games is really just a bat, uh, Call of Duty, you know, battle royale. Yeah. Fortnite, yeah. which is it could be calling games. <laughs> this is this is Apex on steroids, man. Listen, yeah. so I don't know, man. But it's a great chapter. I think that UG definitely is probably gonna end up being the one facing off on this mystery character. Um, Megumi, I think, will be soon facing some challenges, and you know, we'll we'll continue to push our way along. I think this is this is definitely gonna be another long one. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I kind of want to know how they're gonna do the the last chapter of the year, because um, you know I, I feel like every chapter at the end of the year got to go out with a bang because they're gonna be on break. So it's like, all right, we gotta we gotta make these niggas salivate for like more, like w- what what's gonna happen? Because um, my hero's about to be on break, and I know that we're we're going to take some time to actually start the next arc. Like we're going to start it pretty soon, probably like mid November. Um, but with JJK, I think it's going to be like just heat after heat. But like, what do you think could end the year? Like how is the year going to end with the bang? And I think those two are going to be like just the top runners of like, Oh yeah, we got a, we, we got some hits on our hands. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the end of the year is gonna look like. I truly just do not know where either one of these stories are gonna be at. <laughs> look at like I truly don't know. Like, let, let me ask you this question: Do you think up? anybody is gonna die in in at least my hero? No, by the no end of the year, die in my hero. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> hmm. <laughs> had to actually sit there for a second. <laughs> Maybe. No. No. Horror coach is too pussy to do it. He's not going to do it. See, I, I really had to struggle with that because where the story is at, it seems like a very logical yes. Like someone probably <laughs> ended up dying as this overpowered super villain is now, you know, destroying the streets of a fucking apocalyptic like city. Um, <laughs> yeah, someone should die, but I don't think anyone will. Jujutsu Kaisen. I, yeah, I think one person. Do you At think least. it's going to be a villain or is somebody on our yeah, side? It's going to be a villain. It's going to okay. be a villain. Okay. Hey, I, it, they're not catching. They're not taking out no heroes just yet. Okay. I want No Borrow to show up before the end of the year. I do too. I'm not going to hold you. I would love it. I, I need No Borrow to come back with like an eye patch or something, man. No Borrow and Maki? Yeah. Back to back like Lethal Weapon? Man, talk to him. Man, shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. Maki and Novara, that's a guy, that's a that's an OP ass team right there. I'm saying, like yes. oh. I'm talking about that's the strength of a hundred gorillas on Angel Dust right there, bro. <laughs> Alright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's wicked strength right there. That's wicked strength. That's, oh. that's, that shit is OP. Oh shit! Power of a thousand million people. Think I'm talking about? Think that is amazing. That would be wicked. <laughs> oh my gosh! Them two back man. They're gonna be off the meds too, so they ain't gonna be able to feel shit. Perks and I them feeling nothing. <laughs> Niggas don't like it. In. <laughs> They chill and bike it in like how the rock was in ballers. <laughs> Perk that angle. Was, that nigga was chilling bike it in hole with no water. <laughs> Crunching them shit like mentos. <laughs> That's why they eat the bike. Like, I'm just chewing them bitches like goddamn mints. Oh my god. <laughs> they they crunching them joints harder than grandma purse candy. They got, like, <laughs> Niggas walking around with the bikes already pre crushed. <laughs> That's this a one church up. candy, too. I, uh, I already crushed this one up earlier. I just had to make sure I was prepared. <laughs> it Worse up. than the Jolly Ranchers in the, in the spray. Oh, man. <laughs> They're different, bro. they different. Wow. Man, yeah, no Baron Maki to come back. Baron Maki to come back. Um,. All right, do you want to, we we want to keep this this battle rage going? We want to slow it down. How are we feeling? We got, uh, a nice, we got a nice little lineup here. I mean, I do want to go into Spy Family because the chapter actually oh, dropped yeah. this time. Yeah, someone decided to show up for work. Someone <laughs> fucking decided to show up for work. <laughs> fucking running out of PTO, aren't you? you goddamn <laughs> jackass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that PTO's running low now. You gotta start you gotta start building that back up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Using up all your hours, huh? It's like dang, I gotta go back to work. Right, let me go ahead and drop this right quick so let I can have Christmas ahead. off. Let me have Thanksgiving yeah. off. Using all that PTO, just nothing. <laughs> nothing. That's crazy. But Endo showed up for work, and uh, he did deliver, though. A really good chapter. Um, Definitely. Once again, I wish this chapter didn't ruin the absolute pacing of this arc that has been great so far. Um, obviously, Yor is, on, is, is in a battle with this samurai uh, on, on on top of the ship. Yep. And uh, you no know, Lloyd, 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 and oh, Lloyd has no idea what's going on. I yeah. was like, I need to go save my mama. And <laughs> as they're walking around, you know, so Lloyd and Anya went to dinner, and as they're walking around, Lloyd overhears secret police talking about there's a bomb on the ship, and that kicks him into espionage mode. And <laughs> we get a moment where Anya is, you know, Anya, uh. You know, she sees her opportunity, so she's like, "Yo, Dad, let me go, 
So magically, <laughs> all of a sudden, there's a daycare on the uh, on the ship. So this, this is a this is a pretty uh, the ship's loaded with shit. Very but, convenient. Uh, very convenient. So Lloyd's like, yo, I'm about to drop her off to this daycare being watched by this random person who has never. Are they certified to do this? Do they have their shots? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't. I don't think they they passed their vaccine. You, know you see how fast Anya escaped? This is a very incompetent lady working in this room. Uh, I think this is the same lady who worked with the Rugrats kids because you know they man. be dipping off every time. <laughs> Anya went in there. She turned around for two seconds, and Anya was gone. <laughs> that is a record time, and lady, you, you are not. You are maybe this is not the career path for you. You may love kids, you have a heart mm. for them. Being, nah. <laughs> being in daycare though is not a. This, this should not be in your future plans, right there. How fast Anya was able to escape. Yeah. But, um, but no, it's cool. Like I, I think, I think this is a smooth way for Endo to protect her secret, or at least make us feel that the secrets are being protected right now. Like Lloyd has to go off and dust up this bomb, and you know she's in the middle of this fight. Anya's the only one that's really known what's going on, but. She's doing a great job kind of, you know, keeping the secret, obviously. Um, but no, Lloyd, so Lloyd goes and puts on a disguise so he can defuse the bomb. And Anya goes and tries to get to uh tries to get to Yor. And while on trying to run up to the to the top of the boat, she finds one of Yor's weapons, ensues some of the greatest <laughs> on the moment <laughs> produced in this entire series. Only Anya, man. <laughs> so she pulls the weapon out of the ground because it was it, it fell off the top of the roof where they were fighting at. Uh, so Anya pulls it out and she she hears their voices up there. Like she can hear the voices through her mind. So she tries to throw it hard as shit on the roof. And it just <laughs> a little dink up there and just sits there. And she has the straightest face like, yeah. Oh, lightning bolt <laughs> deliver my aid. <laughs> she gave it a whole attack name, bro. Like <laughs> that is hilarious. Chuck that thing. Chuck and it hard straight. Just got it over. Just got it over. She got she got the straight no, face. I'm like, face, yeah, the face. The yeah, after that shit is funny as hell. This is great, great comedic writing. Wow, Endo. Wow. You wanna know it's crazy? You know when Endo shows up for work, he really be in his bag. Oh, he definitely does. Cause like the very next scene, there's a whole bunch of um assassins out to try to take out the the people that you're was protecting, and they end up turning the corner. And slipping on the thing that Anya threw. <laughs> they knock themselves out. And then them knocking themselves out like kind of distracts everybody else and helps your get her weapon back. And then your your obviously walks out the winner. And my my guy, the the looping wannabe. Yeah. Gets his ass popped. Popped by the old man. It, and it ends with like a, a clash with the with the swordsman, to which your wins. She drops to her knees. She 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 realizes that she's won, and she's pretty much passed out. Like she's tuckered out. Meanwhile, Lloyd damn near defused the bomb in front of all of these people, and then Man. he sits there and thinks for a second. It's like, hold on. Wait, all, all enemy niggas right now. <laughs> I'm around he the enemy. In, he's in the trenches right now. He <laughs> all out territory. He's wilding. Like I'm on the west side right now, hanging with west side niggas. Oh, like <laughs> he was also, he was like, man, shit. He was like, I gotta keep calm. Let me get my ass out of here. Mm-hmm. And then the chapter ends with one of the last remaining assassins who is feeding intel to all of the other guys. Um, he sits there and is like. You know, I, I farewell to you, Princess Lorelei, as you sink beneath the waves, serenade me with your screams. And then it shows another bomb hidden somewhere deep within the ship. So Lloyd's work is not done. 
none of their work is done yet. They, they I think so. <laughs> I think this though is a good cliffhanger because now this bomb goes up. It's about to be the Titanic. I mean, and then you got Lloyd and, and Yuri who are gonna be on some like they gotta <laughs> say they life. They gotta say they kid. They gonna, like they gonna they, like they gonna see some skills and be like, why is this nigga like doing parkour <laughs> all the way up the? Why does this? You know what I'm saying? Why did this man and this woman know how to survive a a, a, a boat crash, a boat sinking? Like they gonna be like, nigga, where'd you learn that from? The secrets are still on the line. It could happen. <laughs> Don't know yet. Yeah, but, yeah. But no, nah, Spy Family was Spy Family was amazing as always. The yeah. my in my in my Shonen Jump cornerstone top three. Can can I can I just writes. say something right quick he though? Yeah, writes. I was about to say he cause, actually writes because he did this last year with the with the look with the tennis thing, bro. Like he took forever with the tennis arc. But he didn't miss. He didn't. But like, why does it take so long, man? Why? Why? Why it take you one and a half? Uh... Endo is crazy, bro. Endo <laughs> really be going dumb, but he only shows up for work. Like that's what I'm crazy. saying, man. He just got free will. Once again, I wonder what he has on those offices over there. What type of blackmail does this man have? How does... he must have like never used his PTO, and they must just like roll that shit over. It's just been rolling that shit over. He's finally like. Oh, I get to just sit my ass down and just write this great story whenever I want. Yeah. That's it. And he drops it. He sends it off to his assistant. He's like, yeah, how y'all feel about this? Oh, bet. Thank you. We've been waiting. We've been sitting in the office waiting for you to send us to work. They're collecting a free check. He's just cutting them off. <laughs> they be working on that their own stuff. Oh, like, really? I, like I, I can't wait on this, man. I, I need to draw, draw something now. I, I can't yeah. wait on Endo. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Um, also, speaking of another great series, me and Roboco had a great fucking chapter. Bro, I love that. I love this manga. And they got the color pages, and they got the color page in the front of the manga, and the <laughs> way they made fun of it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they made Jerry on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, Robo, bruh! I need everybody to just tap into the me kneecap. The kneecap. <laughs> the kneecap. I'm gonna say for this one day. But uh, no, we back to our we back to our Sunday comics, man. Our Sunday newspaper comics. Yeah, uh, me Roboco, where Roboco falls in love. Yeah, she she's out trying to shop. She runs into a, a construction robot, and you know it's it's a match made in heaven. Man, boy, put the love at first that, sight. Boy, look that game on her. <laughs> Real motherfucking P right here. He's he's on some player shit with her. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the way the little walking stick. Look at that. He knew. He was on he was a different type of time. He was. He was, he tapped the knee right quick. He was like, she was like, oh, you can't flirt with me like that. that. <laughs> With his hand up, I was like, baby, you gotta chill. You gotta chill, chill out right quick. Just watch your step right quick. Watch, watch where you're going. Step. Watch your step. Watch where you're going. Uh, you know, and Roboco is just being mean, not really understanding her feelings and taking everything he says and misconstruing it. Mm-hmm. Arguing in the middle of the night with herself. Meanwhile, yeah. Tyra is like, bro, I'm trying to sleep. Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, it's you got funny going? because we all we, we get this whole story. We figure out she's retelling the story. <laughs> Like, bro, I don't try to go to bed. It's the tip top you that told me. He was like, Why are you still talking? He was uh, sprung. My boy, my, my, my construction android had her sprung. I'm tell you. Running good game. Crazy. Yeah, then, you know, you know, she runs into him again, and, you know, same, same thing. He's like, You know what I'm saying? He's like, Dang, saw you again. Come around, you know. Mm. Okay, get going to hang with me while I'm on my shift. I ain't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's just funny though. Um, last yeah. time, last time, fucking uh, Tyra follows after her to see what's going on. He's like, I gotta make sure that she's she's okay. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you feel this shit, bro? It's crazy. 
And then this nigga's like, the the robot is like, you know, our project ends. Like, I'm I'm moving away. <laughs> I love how like real they're making this. Part, you know? like, this is like some real life love. Like, you really go through some real shit with this. Exactly. Like, this is this is real feelings, man. Like, she she was really feeling this, man. All for him to be taken away. Like, he was here for work. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe he might fly back out a little bit. You know, just yeah, maybe fly she, her out. Nah, hell no, I didn't find her out. Boy, <laughs> I don't know. Construction nigga salary be crazy. <laughs> hey man, the way this man was working, hey, you might never know. This might be yeah, this man might be stacking up. He might be he probably working like twenty hour shifts. I'm saying, probably working twenty four <laughs> hours. Probably <laughs> crazy. <laughs> um, but nah, man, I, I really love how real they're making this for Roboco though, and like she's going through all the emotions, and you know, it. I don't know. It's it's funny how they're how much they just lean into it, and like lean not even lean to that, but how they're like leaning into like. The the dramatic relation, the dramatic, you know, say how dramatic it is. Like, you no, know, it's 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 just funny. I don't know. It's funny as hell. Um, <laughs> then they they break up. <laughs> they break up, and she does the big chop. It's <laughs> a flat top. <laughs> Bro, she got a Grace Jones. She got a Grace Jones flat top, dog. That shit look better than Scotty Flippins. She got the Big Daddy Kane. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Bro, she got dude. the line, too. The line yeah, is the line crazy. Up. Bro, why she got a widow's peak? <laughs> she got a fucking widow's peak. She got a widow so get a clean edge on. That's just sharp as hell. <laughs> hey, yo, I love this shit, man. <laughs> Bro, it's funny, dog. Oh, nah, man. man. You can't go wrong with this manga, man. How'd she get an all-even flat top? <laughs> it's just an all-even flat top. Oh, that is funny. No fade on that shit. <laughs> she got the kind of dog. The side pick of the edge up is so crazy. It's that like, shit is crazy. She pick, it's, it's like she crazy. picked that bitch out and then oh, cleaned that bitch off the top. No, that, that side view with the lineup is <laughs> that shit is sharp. <laughs> that that shit. Shit. <laughs> but she couldn't get the she couldn't get the widow's peak off, bro. <laughs> oh man, the, the, the lighting is crazy. It was stupid all the lighting. Oh my gosh, bro. She came through with the damn flat top though. That shit's funny as hell. You got a flat top. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a great way to end that chapter, bro. We ain't really yeah. really it's hilarious, man. Yeah, man. Uh, and finally, finally, we'll, we'll wrap it up with real you know hours. Are we, are we on real you know hours for the next couple of weeks? I feel we need to be. We should be, honestly. Real you know hours. Like Black Clover is going crazy right now. Yeah, man. Black Clover is <laughs> it's on another level. Like it's really unsung. Like I don't think we give Black Clover enough credit. Like for the story that well, not necessarily the story, but like definitely the pacing, even the story in a certain aspect. Um, because we we come back to the chapter after um, you know, gets the quick power up, and we find out. This man's mother and father both had sun and moon magic. And so he when they blessed him with the second grimoire, it's actually filled with star magic. Like this nigga has the power of both the stars and wind on his side, bro. Like he's he's going crazy right now. I love like these unreasonable ass power ups too that they're giving him against these demons. Because now I'm wondering, like, bro, who are they gonna have to fight next? Like we gotta fight some gods, bro. Like we don't, we don't met the devils. We gotta fight some gods now. Some wizard gods. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta fight some high, high tier. We either gotta fight like the lowest of the low of the devils, oh, and we, then we, we gotta we fight. Cannot, dog, we can't see this animated. I know, man. This animated would have been so insane. I know. It's crazy because the animation got better as the as the show went on. As the manga went on, like, bro, it got so much better. He goes into the 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 star 
star magic conjunction like that moment like oh my god it's so it's just so crazy that the way that he's using the star magic the way he's keeping his form the angel wings that he grows yeah oh, like this shit is different yeah man and he he uses he gets enough power back to save the brothers and they're like bro you got the grimoire and another one bro like who really are you and this nigga has to say bro i'm the vice captain bro i took your job man you <laughs> going crazy man listen this giant then that ending panel with like i'm liking that they're making this an actual battle and like this isn't just like a wash immediately offer it yeah, because like, you know he has a wind, a wind spirit. Like he's having her like charge up and and whatnot as he's using the star magic. Um, so you know he's still getting used to this new power, and then you know, yes, he's going against this final demon. And I just I don't know, man. I like I love that they're making this a full battle and they're not kind of just like rushing it and just being like, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Type yeah. Thing. Yeah. So, uh, no, I'm I'm super excited for this this fight, man. Oh, God, this shit is so cool. It just looks so fucking cool. That's what I'm saying. I really wish I could saw this animated. Yeah, man. This, it, this would have translated so crazy animated. Yeah, it would have. Because yeah, especially moment, like like think of the moment when the second grimoire appears. I'm saying like that, like when it's coming down descending from the heavens and like just floating in front of him bro that's so crazy even with the last double page spread where it's like you know's whole white aesthetic with like the blood black scars and then you see like um xenon's whole black white demon form like it, it's such a good contrast bro like it's it's so bro i wish we could have got this animated man it's so God, it would have been crazy. It would have been absolutely crazy. But one day. One day, hopefully. I don't know. But no, nah, man. I mean, not, I mean, other than that, nothing much happens in the story. Yeah. yeah it's not like it was actually a really thing. short chapter. It was. It was a short chapter. Uh, you know, we kind of learned the type of uh magic that his mom and his dad have, which is cool. Sun magic and moon magic. They make the star magic. And mm. that's pretty much it. But other than that, though, uh, a fun, another fun weekend, Shonen Jump. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Got a lot, got a lot of really cool things. Uh, Witch Watch, you have volume one for Witch Watches on a uh, pre pre sale. I'm, I'm yeah, scooping that. Cool. I'm definitely scooping. Hey, that. I can't lie. The 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 cover look hard. I might yeah. I might cop it just because of the cover. I love manga covers. Manga yeah. covers are so like so much thought has to go into them. Yeah, yeah. Like. It's just I, I love covers like it I, just because it's like that's the first thing you're gonna see on the book and that shit's whack like you know what I'm saying like it's not you know yeah if it's whack you're not gonna you're not gonna get me yeah to buy it but and I, I don't think, buy I only buy you know I really only buy series two that I really enjoy see oh speaking of which um I I I've just finished Hell's Paradise that's one of the ones that I really enjoy. But I was like, you know what? I'm enjoying this way too much. So I went ahead and read the rest of that. Actually, a really good series. Like, I didn't know where it was going to take me. But I'm glad that I read through the whole thing. And it definitely took me for a ride. Um, But, yeah, man, those covers are also good. Like, um, the one thing I do hate is because now Viz is doing this thing where I guess if a manga doesn't sell well enough in Japan, they'll only do it on digitally. And I'm like, damn, man, I want to I wish I could have had this physical like. Shit. So I need to go. Yeah, I need to. I need to get a tablet strictly just for reading. Yeah, man. But no, nah, man, it's cool stuff on Shonen Jump. Appreciate everyone staying and sticking with us um, on this episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. Shout out to my brothers over on the lookout. Uh, uh, Mills oh, yeah. and Jeff episode one hundred that dropped yesterday. So yeah. make sure that you tune into that. Yeah. Um, also. Tomorrow, Thriller Bark Spaces is happening. So make sure you tune into that. It's happening at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time, so 5 Central time. And, yeah, I'm not doing all that math. My brain is my brain. Is <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're doing it at that time. Uh, come talk to us about the Thriller Bark arc. Uh, it's our new kind of manga of the month style that we're going to try. So definitely pull in. You know, talk about your favorite moments. 
obviously it has my favorite and funniest moment ever in, in One Piece. Um, it has a top just, five anime moment for me. Whoa, that's crazy. Bro, nothing uh-huh. happened. Huh? Nothing happened, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Nothing happened at all. That's a top five moment for me. And nothing <laughs> happened. All right. Well, you'll hear AD's top five moment, and you are hopefully we're just in there having a great conversation, a great, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> about, about Thriller Bark. So please join us. Remember, that's Wednesday um, at 6 p.m. ET. We'll be on Twitter Spaces on the Lookout page at the Lookout RNC on Twitter. Um, and make sure you're subscribed. Lastly, lastly, Crunchyroll is looking for judges. Oh, yeah. Vote for the boy. Vote for the boy right here, bro. Vote for LJ. So make manga great again. Make anime great again. Put the hashtag out there. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that hashtag. I do not want to be connected with that hashtag in any way, shape, or form. But if you fuck with me, you fuck with the Big Eyes podcast, if you fuck with the lookout. And you want the lookout to be represented when picking some of the best of anime in 2021. Choose me and vote for me because you know I speak, I speak for the real. I speak for the people. I'm here for the people. You know? So I, I'm I'm trying to get the people and make sure the people's opinion is you know is wanted. So yeah, vote for me on it's it's should be a post on the lookout RNC page. I think I posted it. Definitely gonna retweet it again. So just keep on, you know, keep your eyes on the lookout and my personal page at only at LJ. Um, if you need any of the information to fill out on the sheet, feel free to like DM or write, uh, you know, to, so we can send you the proper stuff to write in and uh, for the form. But no, nah, man, uh, just but everyone who has all the homies have just like pushed it. Man, I, I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Love y'all. Uh, so yeah, man. But I want to be a judge. I want to say what well, was tight this year. I feel I know what shit that's tight. We talk about tight shit all the time. The lookout is tight. We're tight as hell. So we know what's tight. So let me go tell them what's tight because and and pick the right things. So, um. But no, other than that though, I appreciate everyone though who is supported. And man, I just, once again a huge like round of applause. Congratulations to my brothers, man, for episode one hundred. So much great things are coming from the lookout, and we'll we'll continue to just you know set the tone. We're gonna continue to try to set the bar on on the the, the great things that we create and, and and what great anime content could and could look like. And so, uh, appreciate everyone for all their support. Make sure once again you're subscribed to the lookout RNC. You're following the lookout RNC. Make sure you're following RNC Radio Live, where a bunch of other great things are happening. RSPN is coming back. So season five of that, um, and yeah, so many other great things. Uh, so yeah, make sure you find RNC Radio Live. That's where that's where the hub is at. We can get connected to everything else. Um, other than that, AD, what's the sign off? You already know. Please read more manga, watch more anime, and be on the lookout. Only on the lookout for the Big Eyes Podcast. Thank you.